This video was created by Vinyl Lick Puma of Vinyl Lick Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lick Puma. Today I want to show you how to get an infinite backpack size in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Um, now the one disadvantage of this is maintaining it can be an issue. Um, I'll show you how to do that more in depth further on in the video. Uh, but for right now I'm just going to explain uh, this basically works based on your equipped weapons and what's already in your backpack. So uh, you can swap weapons for weapons. Uh, shield for shields, uh, class mods for class mods, uh, oskits for oskits, and grenade mods for grenade mods. Um, now, to get a excess of I number of items in your backpack from what your max carrying size is, so I have 14 out of 12 here, this is actually simply done just by uh, getting quest rewards that award you weapons. So I'll go ahead here. It's going to give me two different weapons here. Uh, I'll just select, uh, I don't know. I'll probably just go with both of these kind of suck. But I'll go ahead and I'll pick that one. Now, what I'll do now is I'm going to cut the video here. I'll come back and I'll show you how to manage uh, this backpack that you have here uh, because you may be picking up weapons uh, or you may see weapons you want but you may not know how to pick them up so I'll go ahead and I'll show you that all right everybody welcome back now I'm gonna go ahead with part two here so let's say you're slaughtering people on Elpis and you find a weapon you want like say this blaster well uh, obviously you can't pick this up, but what you can do is if you hold X on an Xbox 360 or PC, if you're using a controller, uh, I guess Square if you're using a PS3 controller, and if you hold E or the use key on your keyboard, what you can do, you can pick this weapon up. Now go to your inventory, look at some items here, and let's say you don't want this handgun because it's kind of a piece of crap and uh, you just don't want it. So you go ahead, you swap this, you can either throw this from here and pick up the gun you just dropped, or you can just go ahead and swap it. Now what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to keep and maintain this large backpack size um, automatically. And you get this nice gun here. This does have some limitations, though, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, like, if you wanted to pick this up, you can't at all because you would need... Uh, actually, you can't pick it up at all because you can't equip it. Um, if you have, let's say, a class mod that's on the ground, if you don't have a class mod already in your inventory, uh, you'll have nothing to swap it with, so you won't be able to add that to your inventory, and that does kind of suck. Uh, but thankfully, though, there are some missions in the game uh, that allow you to... Uh, earn class mods or what you can do before you exceed your limit uh, you could go and acquire some class mods and then just build it up that way because it seems like the most common quest reward in this game is going to be weapons and then shortly after that I would even say Oz kits maybe shields uh, grenade mods and then class mods are like the uh, cow's tail there but anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. It's going to pretty much wrap this up. If you did like this video, you found it helpful, uh, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and what do you all think of this? Uh, do you, uh, did you find this helpful? Uh, are you, is this something you're all going to use? Um, I'm going to use it a lot. But anyway, guys, take care. Have a good one.